Why? 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 For the last six months, I've given you people everything. I've written articles about Valerian. I've reviewed 18 books of the Valerian and Laureline series. I've talked about it ad nauseum on Twitter. And this is how you thank me. The movie this weekend finally was released, and it tanked hard. It crashed. It burned. It bombed. Valerian and Laureline, as a North American property, is dead. So why did Valerian tank? There's a number of reasons it could have, a number of things we can discuss about it. So, why did it tank? Lots of people have lots of reasons for it, probably, and, and some of it is very cultural, I'm sure. Some of it is just, it's a French book in an American market, and some of those things won't necessarily translate over. I saw sarcastic comments about the transmuter, for example, pooping marbles, which, okay, fine. That's what the transmuter does. In the course of the comic, it's cute, it's funny, it's all those things, it's useful. It's a great plot gimmick, and I guess in a movie it doesn't work so well. Here's the admission I need to make off the top. I haven't seen the movie. I knew it bombed before I had a chance on Sunday night, and by the time I would have gotten to the movies on Sunday night, there was no good time for me. Maybe because it was bombing, there were only two choices of times to see the movie, and one was way too early, and one would have kept me out way past my bedtime, so I didn't go. Now I'm looking at the schedule ahead for the next week, and the the it's slim pickings to go see the movie at this point. It's like one show, maybe two shows a night if I'm lucky. And yes, I really still do want to see it in 3D. So why did the movie bomb? If it's not cultural, was it the trailers? The trailers were spectacular. They were visually spectacular. Did they ever give viewers a chance to uh, have any idea what the movie was about at all? You could argue, maybe, again, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what it was about, to be honest, except that it translated or was using Book 6, Ambassador of Shadows, as its plot point to start, uh, that, that it did tell at least part of the movie in the trailers. There were people talking about things, and things were happening. However, I don't think there was a strong sense of story in the movie trailers, any of them all. I guess there were about three of them in total. I... I and for what I've heard, the trailers basically cover the first 10 minutes of the movie, which are all about introducing you to Point Central. Or as we like to call it in comic book world, Alpha. <clears throat> and that is not enough. I, there was no strong story to grip onto. There was no question mark at the end of the trailer that made you want to go see more and learn more about the story. I can understand that. For some people, it was the casting. And the knives were out for the cat, for both the, the actor playing Valerian and the actress playing Laureline. Uh, the knives were out very quickly for how bad this movie was going to be because these two are acting in it. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I thought Laureline was great in the trailers. I wasn't so sure about Valerian, to be honest. But I was willing to give them a chance for two hours and 17 minutes to entertain me. I'm, you know, cynical enough... <laughs> To not have my hopes up too high, but I wasn't giving up on them right away. Yes, she did have a starring role in last summer's Suicide Squad and was the worst part of a movie that was generally the worst movie ever made in the superhero comic book world. Most likely. I'm sure I'm forgetting one here somewhere. Maybe Steel was worse. I don't know. I never saw that one. But Suicide Squad as a movie was a piece of garbage. And her character, the Enchantress, Enchantress in the movie, was likewise awful. But that's not her fault. Nobody could have acted their way out of that movie into making it good. Okay, so Margot Robbie did as Harley Quinn for the most part. But even I think her as the saving grace of the movie is a little bit over overrepresented. Because it, even then it wasn't that good. Suicide Squad bombed. Well, it should have bombed. It didn't bomb. Suicide Squad was a disaster. And you can't hold that against many of the actors and actresses in it because, as we all know, they were changing it as they went along. They did major reshoots. 
the trailer was edited in one way, the movie was edited in another way. Apparently by the same people who made the trailer, it just made no sense. And there's lots of discussion about that online, on YouTube, written up everywhere about why Suicide Squad's awful. I want to talk about Valerian. So, the actors, you know, failed to inspire people. I don't know, if Tom Cruise were playing Valerian, would have would, would there have been a large audience for the movie? I'm not sure. Tom Cruise couldn't carry the mummy in this country. But that brings up another point, which is, don't cry for Valerian yet. Yes, it was very expensive. No, it's not going to make much money here in America. But guess what? That book is revered in Europe. The Valerian series, or as we now call it, Valerian and Laureline series, is a huge seller and much beloved in Europe, and it will no doubt make lots of money over there. It won't be enough to make up for the really high budget it had, especially once you add in marketing. Maybe not. But... I don't think it's going to be as spectacular a bomb as many people are uh, afraid of it being once they factor in the European box office. So the question then we're left with is, is this the end of European comics being translated into American superhero movies? Or American movies, period. This wasn't a superhero movie, obviously. But, you know, because this is the way Hollywood usually works, right? And it, again, this was kind of produced outside of Hollywood. This was an independent thing made in France, all that good stuff. But will Hollywood look at this and say, there's no way in hell we're going to make another movie based on a Franco-Belgian comic after both Smurfs and Valerian crashed and burned this year? And what the heck am I doing writing about European comics in a year where nobody seems to want to watch the movies, which would be the entry point into the comics for most people, and oh God, I'm screwed. Yes and no. If you lead with it as a European comic being created as a North American movie, yeah, it's probably not going to get much traction anymore. In France, they keep making these movies. They make plenty of movies based on comic books, and they do really well in France. I don't think a lot of them will translate well here to America, at least if they did a direct translation. Maybe if they did an adaptation of them, we might see, we may see plenty of, you know, English shows, British shows that get translated and redone here in America, and some of them work better than others. The Office obviously worked the best. Coupling probably worked the least. But there's plenty of great sort of properties that I think you could Americanize and make into something that North America would enjoy. And then probably Europe would laugh at it and scoff at it and turn its nose up at it and it would bomb over there. So really it's all a dollars game, a money game, a numbers game ultimately, but that's what Hollywood always is about. So will there be another Ben Desenay movie? I hope so. I don't know of any right now that are in production for North America, but it could happen. In the meantime, I have to figure out some way of seeing Valerian before it leaves movie theaters because I probably only have a week or two before that happens because that's the era of, co of movies that we live in these days where if a movie doesn't do well in opening week, it's dead completely. I mean, maybe there's a chance Dunkirk was just so popular, everyone went to see it last weekend and now everyone's going to go see Valerian this weekend. I'm not counting on that at all. We'll see what happens. But uh, maybe I, I have a Blu-ray 3D player. Maybe I need to get a, a 3D TV before this Blu-ray comes out, which given how much money it just made this weekend, it should be out in Blu-ray any week now. Netflix might have it tomorrow at this rate. So that's the Valerian movie situation. As I sit here, it's, uh, it's Monday, July 22nd, 23rd, whatever today's date is. Uh, that's what we know right now. I will uh, update this vlog if anything else changes, but I, I kind of doubt it will. Valerian looks really cool, and I hope to get to see it before it leaves theaters so I could give you a better review of it. Maybe written, maybe here in the vlog, I'm not sure which, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Better luck next time. Stick with me. I'm sticking with it. I'm stubborn like that. Why? Why, why, why?